Okay, today, folks, we're going to um, grease the bearings on this 48-inch uh, deck on this John Deere D160 because we have 549 hours <coughs> point zero on this John Deere D160. I just did the uh, oil change just a little bit ago, which I got to check the oil because I put I put a couple things, I put two quarts in, so I got to make sure it's good. But we're going to take this cover off and we're going to grease the bearing on this where the discharge chute is. And like I said, just use a, a 10 mil socket, which I'm using, as you can see what I'm using. Then take the cover off. And then uh, I'm going to take the other nut off, another bolt, I should say. trying to do octopus arms. Let's see if this will work this way. Because like I said, you don't need a lot of grease in these things. But it's you want you want enough so it's so it's all good. It's going in, it looks like. Okay. And then uh now, a lot of people don't know where this other one is, um, which is underneath the steering column. And that is pretty, that's pretty hard to try to, to try to find too. I mean, I know you, I know a lot of you guys don't really know where these are, but um, if you have any, uh, questions or comments on where all the grease fittings are, just send me a comment, and I'll send you guys one back, or something. But the grease fitting is where I'm at right now, is the steering column, which it goes up into the steering And that's important. That's important to have all these. In there. Okay. Now. And then the, uh. Grease fittings are um, on the on the axle here, but we're going to do the wheels first because that'll be easier to do on here. So what I do is I turn the steering wheel to where I need to get to the um, the grease fitting, which isn't that hard to get to. Clean them off a little bit so we don't get dirt everywhere. There's dirt everywhere on this thing, and we're gonna move the wheel. Sorry. We're gonna move the wheel so we can grease the bearing up here.
And like I said, you don't need a lot in the stirring column. You just need enough where it's going to um, work. On this so yeah this is basically the job that I basically have to do because it's important and if it doesn't get done then it's probably um, You're hiding, you little bugger. That little bugger was hiding. So it's pretty, pretty decent on how to do this, and it's real easy to do these grease fittings. But sometimes they're hard. Sometimes they get hard to do. And there's our grease job on this uh, John Deere D160. Like I said, if anybody has any comments or um, anything like that, send me a comment. And when we get ready to do this uh, Johnson Red push mower, we're going to have to change the belt on that, I think, because the belt is uh, worn out. And I'll probably still have to get a, a gas cap for it, but it's probably what's going to have to happen. And there's my dessert. <laughs>